And before I have to give up my time, uh, David, I want I want you to talk about the way you write because you write in a way no one has written for television. You have to be sitting on the <laughs> That's edge. <a> <laughs> You, you have to bring something to the party as a viewer uh, when I'm watching your stuff. I'm on the edge of my seat. I am listening very carefully because it's difficult to absorb all this. You cannot go to the bathroom. Uh, you require something of your audience. You can go to the bathroom, but it has to be in front of your television set. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I, I, have, uh, I have one basic conceit, and I, and I came to it when I was writing prose, and when I started to work on the books, which was, you know, I, I, when I went from journalism school on through my early years at the Sun, they used to say you have to write for the average reader. And the average reader in newspapers was said to have an eighth grade education uh, and, and a very short uh, uh, span of attention. And I learned to hate that guy. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the guy that they met, they sort of had a demographic idea of him. He lived in the suburbs. He had you know, two cars, 3.2 kids, a dog and a cat, lawn furniture. Um, I hated that fucker. He, <laughs> he, he could ruin an article faster than anybody because exposition became, you know, you, you would use a phrase and the phrase would be so nicely, like, idiosyncratic, you know, and, and to explain it right away would ruin it, but, yet, but the copy desk would come in and say, well, we have to explain it because, you know, so that was the guy on my shoulder and I wanted to knock him off my shoulder since I was a kid. Um, so I write for the people who are in the event. If I'm writing a detective, I want another homicide detective in whatever city to know this guy knows death investigation. Or if it's a drug dealer, this guy knows how to, how to vial coke. Or if it's a, a longshoreman, this guy knows how, to, how they move boxes. Um, and, and, and I imagine them as the, as the people that are gonna show me up and humiliate me when I get it wrong. And I fear, I write out of fear. Um, so I'd rather get it right and have the people who are living the event nodding and going, okay, this guy's got something. And then I'll worry about the average viewer or the average reader later. Um, and what the secret of that that I found with the, with the prose books is if you get it right for the people living the event, the other people kind of want to travel too. Mm. They're sort of excited to be on the interior of that kind of di knowing dialogue as well. It's the, it's the difference between traveling where you go on the tour bus and they show you that, you know, this is... This is Notre Dame, it was built in whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. um, or the one where you, you, you end up spending a month in Paris and you just end up going to, a, to one bar and, and, and there you're off, you know, you're meeting people. It's one, there's a different kind of traveling. Well, I've always preferred the second kind, you know. Get me off the tour bus. <laughs>